Okay, Miriam, what's happening is the volume on your TV is very loud, so you need to actually just turn the volume completely down on your TV set. Will you do that? Yes. Okay. Is that better? Yes. Okay, Miriam, tell me what your question is. It's true that the equation of the parabola Okay. Uh, prove that the equation of the parabola is y equals. Keep going. Miriam? I don't think You're asking me to prove that the equation of the parabola is y equals? Miriam, are you there? Okay. All right. Miriam, you can just keep watching. Um, I'm going to answer your question on air, okay? Right. Um, the question was to prove that the parabola is y equals negative x squared minus 4x minus 3. And we were given a picture to accompany this question that looked as follows. The parabola went through negative 3 and negative 1. And I must apologize for my lack of scale here. And the straight line went through 1 and negative 1. All right. So we have Cartesian plane with the following information. We have... three points and we would like to find the equation of the parabola. So we're going to try and get back to that equation there. All right, let's just move the picture up and let's look at what we've got. We have a parabola, we have a straight line, the parabola is going through negative 3 and negative 1 and the straight line is going through 1 and the parabola is also going through negative 3. And the question is, what is the equation of the parabola? Now, this would have be, this type of um, graph question will appear in your grade 11 syllabus. Um, and a lot of schools I know have um, either come to that now or are just finishing that section. And Miriam, and for everybody else, the equation of the parabola when you are given this information here, these two happen to be x-intercepts, will be a coefficient of two brackets. And the two brackets will contain the factors that give us the zero. So x minus alpha and x minus beta are the two brackets, where alpha and beta are going to be the two x-intercepts that are given on that parabola. So in this case, we have an a which we don't know, we've got an alpha, if we just go back up, of negative 3, and we have a beta of negative 1, and if we simplify that we get a x plus 3 x plus 1. Now the only thing that's missing is the coefficient of that of those two brackets. The coefficient could be negative 1, it could be negative 2. We need to go and find that coefficient. Now, there are three variables here. There's a y, there's an a, and there's an x. So in order to get to one variable, I must get rid of the x and the y. And that simply is any point that you find on your parabola. So if we go back to the parabola there, we've used those two, so we can't use them again. We need to use the other point, which is 0, negative 3. So I'm going to substitute 0, negative 3 into that equation. That's negative 3 equals a into 0 plus 3 and 0 plus 1. Simplifying this gives us 3 and 1. So I get a equals negative 3 divided by 3 
so a is negative 1. So, so far we have the equation is negative 1 multiplied by x plus 3 times x plus 1. And now you need to multiply all that out. Negative 1 into x squared, that's a 3 and a f 1 is a 4, and that's a 3. So we'll end up with negative x squared, negative 4x, negative 3. Right, that's the equation of the parabola. Just to go back, where did I get this equation from? This equation needs to accompany the equation of the, the graph of the parabola when the x-intercepts are given. You will always utilize uh, x minus alpha, x minus beta. However, if the parabola, um, let's just sketch it like this, if you were given this point here, as a turning point, negative 2, let's say, and 1, and let's say this was still negative 3, and you wanted to find the equation of the parabola now, we would not use the previous equation, we would use the equation with a square in it, and that would be x minus p, all squared, plus q, where p and q is the turning point. And you do exactly the same thing. You'd approach it by substituting in your negative 2, 1 into P and Q. So Y would be A into X plus 2 all squared plus 1. Uh, and then you'd go back and find another point. The point we haven't used is negative 3. So we'd keep going and substitute the 0, negative 3 to give us plus 2 all squared plus 1. So that would be 4a is equal to negative 4. a is still negative 1. And so the equation of the parabola would be negative 1 x plus 2 all squared plus 1. And if you simplify that or expand that, that's x squared plus 4x plus 4 plus 1. So we get negative x squared minus 4x minus 4 plus 1 is minus 3, which is the same equation. So you've got two ways of finding the equation of the parabola, but you need to identify what you're given. Are you given x-intercepts or are you giving the, given the turning point? And then substitute into that equation and simplify. Bye.